Li Hong, you smug bastard, I'm coming for you. What's up everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Contracts. Today I am doing the Li Hong assassination, which is the fourth and last part of, well, the Li Hong assassination. All those setup missions leading up to this last one. So you notice we're back in the map for the Wang Fu incident. The difference is we can go into the uh, restaurant as without a disguise. So there's two objectives to this mission. One is obviously to kill Li Hong and kind of throw the triads into chaos. The other is to take his jade figurine so that no one else can take control of the triads. First thing we're going to do is talk to the bartender. Sanzo Muna, we are close. I wonder if you could answer a question. I don't know anything. I don't know anyone. Whatever you heard about this place, it all lies. My stomach is in pain, so I don't have the patience to sit and chat. I'm sorry. I wonder if you could... CIA sent a guy. He wondered. Now he's locked up in the basement. You didn't hear that from me. Who locked him up? Li Hong? Never heard of him. Why don't you... Oh, my stomach. I excuse me. Do yourself a favor. The brother got a new girl from the mainland. Why don't you go and see her? So there's a couple of hits of the things we need to do. But while we're at it, back behind the bar is a vial of laxative. We're actually not going to use it for this run, but since I'm here, there it is. Now, in order to do the jade figurine section of the mission, we need to know A, where the safe is, and B, what the combination to that safe is. The combination can be got either from Li Hong's dead body, or from the... Ah, uh, I see you have a pass. Enjoy your visit, sir. The prostitute, Mei Ling, that the bartender me, just hinted towards. Now, the combination isn't enough. Like I said, we need to know where the safe is. There's actually four different places where the safe could be. And every time you start the mission, it's a different place. So that kind of makes this mission a bit different each time you play it. The all, all the different ways you can do certain things from previous missions. In this one, they're no longer really options. You kind of want to do the method that you need to based on where the safe and where Li Hong is. Now the guy down in the basement that the bartender just hinted towards, he will tell you which safe it is. If you just go around with the combination opening random safes, alarms will go off. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go see Mei Ling and get the combination off her. We're actually allowed through the warehouse at that moment because we're being escorted by the triad member. Which is another one of those gripes back Ah, uh, I see you have a pass. Enjoy your visit, sir. The Bjarkov bomb where he goes too slow for me. I hear you've got a new girl from the mainland. My Chinese is a little rusty. Girl for you? Yes, new girl. Girl called Mai Ling. Oh, Mai Ling. Papa. Nice girl. Very nice girl. Holy hoya. This way. Follow me. Based on everything I just learned from the Chinese language, I'm gonna guess that she keeps calling her a bitch in this conversation. Follow me, quick. Right, so this is Mei Ling. And she's the one that has a combination like I just mentioned. She's gonna bring us into the room and well you'll see what happens. You're a foreigner. And you understand. You listen, you have to help me, please. They kidnapped me. And they brought me here. 
Yes, it's possible. Listen, I'm looking for a certain jade figurine. Any idea where I might find it? You want a jade figurine? The last guy who wanted it has been tortured in the basement. If he's still alive, he can tell you. But then you just need to get past Nihon's god son. And that is almost impossible. Then there's Nihon himself. With that crazy sword that kills with one touch. Survive all that. Then you just need a combination. And I've got that. Then give it to me. First, you get me out of here. And then the combination is yours. Let's go. So if we're gonna get her out of here to get the combination from her, we gotta go out the door, run around the balconies here, jump across this ledge. Then we have to wait right here because we gotta wait for her to jump across the ledge and she does it incredibly slow. Plus she almost falls so we have to be here to catch her or else she just fall to the ground. Then we gotta keep going around, we gotta sneak around these guards who will get mad at, well not get mad at us, they'll start shooting at us because we're trying to take the prostitute. Then we gotta wait for another guard down here to be out of the way, so that we can go down here, haul ass over to this door, get to the other door, Thank you, and Gordis. then she'll I guess actually this is escape where we split. and give us a combination. Oh yes, of course. I would give you more if I could. Bye, handsome. Or, or we could just do that. Now, we still have to dodge, not the guards, but the madam of the brothel. Because no matter what, she if she sees us again, she blows our cover. But at least this time, we don't have to wait for her to jump across the balcony and help her back up. And we don't have to get her outside the building. It's kind of easier. Now that we have the combination... What she uh, hinted at, and what the other bartender hinted at, we need to go find out where the safe is. As long as that madam is facing the wrong way, we can get out of here. Now, if you are going to help her around, if she does fall, she will get up and run to the exit where she gets out. But she won't give you the combination that way. So you got to actually help her. Now, right here, there's a guard that, at this point, he's probably outside. Where is he? Where's the outside? There it is. Yeah, he's already outside, so he's gonna head back in. So we have to wait for him to leave again. That guy right there. There we go, he's on his way out again. We need to go down in the basement now to find the agent. Once he's outside the door, we don't have to sneak anymore. No one will hear us. So, down in the basement, we actually aren't allowed down here as either in our normal suit or as a red guard. Note that there is two different red guards in this level. One is right here. There's actually two spare uniforms here. One's the red guard, the red dragon, and the chef. The red dragon is the one in the suit with the red shirt. The red dragon guard is... The one with like the fancy garments. And obviously this is the chef one with the hat. The guard and the chef are the only ones allowed down in the basement. See if we were in here as the red dragon they'd be shooting at us. In here is some delightful weapons. And also a secret passage that isn't on the map. It goes up around this way and into that cell. Now, take note in here, there's AKs, there's Uzis, but more importantly, there's that sniper and some ammo. Depending on where our safe is, we are gonna have, we may have to use that. So we're gonna actually head through the secret passage. We don't have to with a chef, they won't shoot at us. But this way we don't have to worry about them seeing our face. And it's just easier because we can sprint. This door is the one to the cell right outside of it. So we just come out here, and in this one is where the agent is. Hey, who are you? What are you gonna do with that? Now don't- Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, not again. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, man. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Oh, thank you. I need Li Hong's jade figurine. I'm told you know where it is. Oh, you don't know what they've done to me. My God, see, first they took a chair. Where's the jade figurine? I almost had it. Now it's locked in a safe in the weapons depot, down in the basement. That's what I needed to know. All right, look out for Zun. He's a big bastard. He's the one that did this to me. You have to get him out of the way to get to Hong. It won't be easy. They're always together. Zun sees everything, hears everything, checks every room, even tastes Hong's food. Hung himself, God, he's a crazy bastard. You know, he's got this poison sword. I mean, we're talking one scratch and you're dead. I understand. Go take care of yourself. Yeah, thank you. Listen, I, I hope we get to meet again under more favorable circumstances. Yes. That might seem possible to you. Right, so the safe we need is actually the easiest safe to get to. It's right here where we started this secret area from. So, once we get that, we just have to take out Li Hong, and they keep saying we have to take out Zun to get to him. We're actually not going to kill Zun. He's not even a problem with the ways you can take out Li Hong. So, get in through here, back at the weapons depot, and given where Li Hong is going to be this time, I'm going to need the sniper. And please note, this comes with no ammo. You gotta pick him up over here. So let's get out of here. We don't need this chef outfit anymore. Where are we going? We actually... It actually doesn't matter where we... What disguise we're wearing. I'm gonna use the, the red dragon outfit. You could go in your suit if you wanted to. I just... I'm using the red dragon one because it just makes a bit more sense to me. So we gotta go back to that elevator to get up to it too. Which is back this way. And you know what? I just realized. I forgot to even open that safe. After talking about how it's the easiest one to get to, I didn't even do it. So we need the chef one again, because there is two guards that'll see us. God, by the end of this I'll have that set of doors memorized. So weapons depot, this door right here, more weapons, and a safe. And there we go, jade figurine. Now let's go back and get that other disguise. Like I said, doesn't really matter, but it's kind of an immersion thing really. It makes more sense to me that he be disguised as one of the red dragon while he's moving through the red dragon restaurant. There we go. So now we gotta get back into the restaurant up through the elevator. We could also use the guard one, but there isn't a free guard one, so... Eh, I'd rather not kill too many people. You are given some leeway, but... Uh, it's best not to attempt fate. And just be careful up here, there's a red guard right there. Not a red guard, a red dragon. I keep getting those mixed up. Like usual, don't let them see your face. So you may remember this from the Wang Fu incident. In that little round room down there, that is where Li Hong is. We're gonna do pretty much the exact same thing, except there's only one person we gotta kill. And it's a much easier shot. Where there's like no guesswork involved, you can see right at him. Now with Li Hong, he is a bit of a tough bastard. If you don't get him in the head, you won't get a one-shot kill. Most guards, you can like shoot him in the body and you'll still kill him, but not Li Hong. There we go. 
Get rid of the gun. And now we just gotta stroll on out. That counts as alert right there, but we're allowed one alert. It's okay, we'll still get our an assassin rating. Just as long as we don't screw up and get caught. Which is why I'm going around this way. Guards are a bit more... Like, distanced. Disguise doesn't matter, but right here I am sneaking out because if you're walking, this guard will probably turn around and see you. And it's just easier to sneak. What I don't understand is why we need to pick this lock to get out of the restaurant. But whatever. We're all done, so... It's not really a big inconvenience. Man, this looks familiar, doesn't it? So, we got all that done, finally. We had to incite a triad gang war, killed some negotiators and some guards, finally took out Lee Hong. And I like to assume that scattered throughout Hong Kong after everything we've done is just random black suits lying in sewers, on the ground, in parks, in restaurants. There, we got uh, an alert, shot fired, but we still got our rating. So, good times. Now, as for the safes, I will show off where all of them are. First of all, yeah, make sure you're actually down here at the brothel. After you turn the corner with Mei Ling, it's this first door. And it's right here. And you may notice on the top is a vial of poison. It's useless. Right here, the door we just came out of at the end of the Silent Assassin run, there's another safe. Now the last one is a bitch. The last one is actually in Li Hong's room. To get into it at the end of the basement tunnel is a second elevator and it goes straight up into the mansion. You can just walk through the front door, but there's no way you're going to get past the guards without them seeing your face. So we're actually going to get a head up to the top left door of the center room. Just because this path has at least a amount of guards. And the halls in here are pretty tight, so it's very hard to get past them sometimes. I don't understand why, but every time I went through this mansion, I always managed to get at least one guard tailing me for no reason. But as long as we don't screw around too much, it shouldn't be a big deal. But we do actually manage to get Zen after this as well. He's probably just on his normal patrol though. Again, just ignore him and keep walking. Now, in this next door we're about to go through, this is going to be Lee Hong. You have to be very careful in here. You need to be sneaking and don't let him see your face or he will go berserk and start killing everyone. And that would be the safe right there. If you wanted to, while you're in there, you could wire him if he's in there. Yo, That's for other ways to kill Lee Hong. Too, Mr. Hong before We're I up here cold. in the kitchen. And you may remember that vial of laxative we got. I love how none of the chefs even give a crap what we're doing to their soup. This is another reference back to Bjarkov Bomb. Remember when we took out Fuchs? We made him get run to the bathroom and... I think we stuck a fire poker through his chest, actually. But yeah. Bring him back the laxative. I'm gonna consider it a poison and we'll just end up with that. Speaking of poison, you may remember that there is that vial of poison back in the brothel. You can use that to poison the soup, but... Don't do it. Now, you'll see why in a moment, why the poison is not a good idea to use. Mm. 
If you remember Whoa, the agent saying, Zun tastes his food. So in this case, he just drank the laxative and ran off to the bathroom. Gave us a chance to use that wire glitch from Wang Fu. And in this case, you may want to drag him behind the table so Zun doesn't see him when he comes back. Now, if it was the poison, Zun would have collapsed and died. Li Hong would have run off and hidden his mansion. And your cover would be blown and everyone would be going berserk on you. So, I mean, if you just want to kill Zun and go Rambo for the rest of the mission, go for it. But it's not a good idea. As for sniping, we got another way of doing that, too. In case... Li Hong went back up into his mansion, or if he didn't leave, like if the Jade figurine is in a certain safe, I think he doesn't leave his mansion. Or if it's up there in his mansion, which is, I think is a safe I just mentioned, eh, this is an easier way of doing it rather than sneaking up there and trying to wire him. He came out to the far left from leaving the second floor of the what you call it, the restaurant and through the bars on this balcony here we can actually get a, a really crappy shot but a shot nonetheless we just have to wait for the guard to leave and it gives us an opening now you notice that didn't actually kill him because we just got the side of his head what's funny is he doesn't seem to mind what just happened so just gotta wait for the second shot to open up and there he's down And, as for the obligatory Rambo run, I'm starting off in the basement at one of these weapons caches, but I'm doing it at this top one up here because there's an M60 here, and we can really tear shit up with this one. Let's get this started. As for the kind of Lee Hong arc altogether, it wasn't that bad. Like. The first three were really easy missions, and it's actually a little disappointing because of that. This one, though, it did pose some challenge. Mainly in the fact that it's always going to be different. And you're going to use different methods depending on where it is. There's actually a bit of a pain to record because I had to keep resetting until I get them in these certain positions. I don't know how Zen just teleported through that wall, but it was pretty goddamn incredible. Now Lee Hong in here, with his crazy ass lightsaber. You may remember, uh, Mei Ling and the agent mentioning that he has a sword that'll kill in one hit. If you want to pick it up and use it, go ahead. But honestly, I thought it was not a good idea in this level because of so many guards there is. Well, they'd all be shooting at you while you're trying to stab them and, you know, don't take a knife to a gunfight, right? So Li Hong down, I just gotta find, uh, which safe it is. Probably would've been easier just to go through the agent and find out, but I decided to set just gonna run around opening up random safes. Yeah, not that one. And you'll see, like I mentioned, alarm's going off of it. Down to the basement. Check that one last. Bubble or lock? The madam has the key. Alright, I figure it's the last one to check. Which, I guess it would be. I don't know why I'd keep checking safes if I found it already. But I guess it didn't change from the last time. I got them twice in a row in the basement. In this uh, first uh, weapon area, there isn't the M60 here, but there is a bunch of ammo in case you are doing it this way. So now that I got the figurine of Lee Hong's dead, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you later.